By the end of this conversation, roughly seven people will die from TB. TB is caused by the bacterial pathogen, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, or MTB for short. MTB is the number one killer of humans by any pathogen globally. And in order to stop a killer, you have to better understand its nature. Um, TB is very good at infecting the host and living inside the host cells. In this case, it is the macrophage. Um, macrophages, of course, are immune cells that are responsible for clearing invading microbes, including TB. So TB lives in a place that's trying to kill it. So how does it do this? It needs to accomplish two tasks in order to establish infection. One, the bacteria has to replicate. And two, the bacteria must obtain and use nutrients. But how does it do this in a place that's trying to kill it? So TB is very good at adapting and responding to its host environment. And it does this through signal transduction. So think of signal transduction as a chain reaction, where an environmental signal can activate an enzyme that produces cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP is a universal chemical messenger that can bind to and activate, either turn on or turn off, certain proteins. These proteins can cause changes in MTB's physiology, which will result in the ability of the bacteria to adapt to the signal. TB has 16 enzymes that make cyclic AMP and 10 enzymes that bind cyclic AMP. So how does TB ensure that the correct, that the cyclic AMP produced is from the correct signal and that that cyclic AMP that is produced reaches the correct protein? Uh, one of the ways TB does this is through an enzyme called a phosphodiesterase. So this enzyme is believed to degrade cyclic AMP in order to regulate cyclic AMP's localization in the cell, so where it is, how much cyclic AMP is present, and also how long the cyclic AMP persists. So when we, we hypothesize that if we remove this protein from uh, the bacteria, the, it might disrupt these pathways. And we found that deletion of this protein allows, or doesn't allow the bacteria to replicate inside the host environment, the macrophage. Also, deletion of this protein interferes with its ability to grow on host-associated carbon sources. And we found that cyclic AMP accumulation is correlated with these growth effects. All these data suggests that arbuto 5 regulation by arbuto 5 regulation of cyclic AMP influences TB's ability to grow and adapt in these conditions. And these, this research allows us to understand TB's physiology so we can learn more and eventually stop it.